Disgruntled Facebook users have declared May 31st Quit Facebook Day. To date, more than 23,000 users have publicly committed to close their accounts amid concerns the social networking site makes it difficult for individuals to manage their data and privacy settings. Quit Facebook Day co-founder Joseph D says he decided enough was enough. We don't value the way that you do business. We don't think that you're an ethical company and we, we have a choice of where we choose to be and it's not on that network. The Toronto-based web technologist says the response to the campaign has been overwhelming. As of May 28, approximately 23,413 committed Facebook quitters had signed the online petition. It's been crazy. It's been nuts. I mean, it's turned into an international story. Ramona Raba, a self-confessed Facebook addict, says although she has some concerns, she would never quit her account. I don't want to quit Facebook because, like, I have too many, like, friends there and everything. So it's useful for me and I wouldn't quit it. Faced with the growing backlash from users, Facebook this week announced it was beefing up privacy protections. Wide.com's John Abel says he doubts many Facebook users will actually end their accounts. I don't think there's going to be a huge exodus. There, there certainly hasn't been, and it's been maybe the worst two weeks PR-wise in the history of Facebook. For those who want to shut down their accounts, beware. There's no guarantee the information will be removed. Pretty much every single networking social sharing site you can think of does not have an elegant, clean way to take all of your information when you leave or uh, can guarantee you, does guarantee you, that it will not remain there in some way, shape or form. Even if all 23,000 do leave Facebook on Monday, it will be a drop in the ocean considering the site has nearly 500 million members. Gemma Haynes, Reuters, New York.